Hello friend, good morning. Today is the 22nd April and uh, today I will show you about the our new innovation uh, for the audio technology. So this is a part of two laboratory of GM University where myself is the principal investigator. Here myself, my students and my uh, staff of School of Physics are working and this, this innovation is a window cooler. You can see uh, here, this is the uh, window cooler systems. Here you can see the water is uh, dripping continuously. You can see water is continuously dripping. Okay, this is a window. This is a window of size uh, three to four feet. That means width is three feet and uh, uh, length is four feet. Now uh, the water is dripping from a uh, pipe which is being connected here. You can see where the holes had been made and this uh, pipe is connected to connected to a motor pump a motor pump this pipe is connected to the motor pump to this uh, uh, black color, uh, black color uh, exhaust pipe. Now uh, the uh, this motor is drawing the water from this tank. Okay, now <coughs> and this motor can operate both in uh, DC power, uh, AC power supply of our house. This one, and also it can operate with the solar radiation like oh, last time that i have told in my uh, water fogging system where the same motor was, was used which can operate both in solar power as well as uh, the ac uh, power supply of course for when you are using ac you have to use the adapter like this which will convert the AC into 12 volt DC with maximum uh, power, uh, sorry, current of 3 ampere. I have a solar module that I used earlier also that was of uh, 40 watt rating. So it can give maximum 3 ampere current and uh, up to 12 volt DC. So that I am comfortably using. Now I will come back how we are recirculating i will come back to the system we are how we are recycling the water you see we have placed a tube here this is a uh, three inch tube which has uh, the end caps are there uh, this is one of the end cap This is the second end cap you can see and the water is getting collected here okay and in uh, and we have called, uh, we have made a connection we have made a connection here we have made a connection here you can see so through this pipe water is coming from this tube and it is going to going to the tank again so you can see from the tank water is going to this pipe from this motor to this this white tube and from white tube to the uh, net here from net it is getting collected here to this tube and from tube again it is uh, going down to from tube 
big view it is going uh, down to to this uh, tank okay <coughs> now i can show, show you the water flowing out of this or uh, collecting tube you can see continuously water is collecting out so this is a very low cost system this fan was available with me uh, this fan uh, uh, so we have used this fan now you see uh, we have uh, for this net and this pipe we have used around uh, around uh, 400 rupees only okay we have also given some uh, nets uh, uh, metallic uh, uh, mess like this you can see for holding the uh, this uh, cooler, cooler net uh, so very tightly or in a well defined means uh, rigidly so that nothing will uh, come out so <sighs> With this, uh, this whole system, so we have uh, for this net, this net was around 180 rupees, then this pipe was 120, and uh, this is uh, this pipe also, the lower pipe is also around 200. Next time, 5 to 600 we have spent for making this whole window cooling systems. Okay. Uh, and uh, this fan was uh, available with me and this uh, pump was available with me which I was using for water fogging uh, this uh, the same thing can also be used for water fogging uh, uh, whenever it is needed so with this we are maintaining a good level of humidity and uh, you can see here this is my <coughs> humidity meter uh, here it is showing uh, 33, uh, sorry, 83% humidity is there and temperature is 28.7 uh, degree centigrade. Outside the temperature is much higher as well as the humidity is much lower. Okay. And uh, because of this we have created a very good condition for mushroom farming in this room. The size of the room is uh, uh, very big. You can see the uh, performance in this graph uh, which was taken uh, on 25th April during the period of uh, 4 10 pm to 5 uh, 7 pm in the afternoon. The graph is here. You can see with the increase of the time gradually the humidity level was found to be increasing uh, from starting from 58 percent which was there you can see from this uh, clock at zero time that means uh, in the beginning of the experiment the time was when the time was at 4, uh, 4 10 pm you can see in this uh, corner uh, on the clock the humidity was 58 percent and uh, in the final time you can see here the humidity was around 80 percent uh, so this is then uh, the indi uh, indication that our system is working fine and uh, this uh, observation was taken in a big room which was of 800 uh, square feet room uh, so uh, the relatively the performance is very good but we are still improving uh, the performance and hope we will get better results soon also that I will give you uh, soon. Okay now is the time for uh, giving the acknowledgement. First of all I like to give the acknowledgement or my sincere thanks to Professor N. Nagaraju, our esteemed Vice Chancellor, Vice Chancellor of GM University. He is very much kind uh, towards me, for um, not only me, for everybody who are doing uh, research for the direct benefit of the society. 
my sincere thanks to all colleagues present colleagues ex colleagues friends relatives and current and previous students for their kind appreciation advice feedback and comment uh, whenever i am uploading the uh, uh, videos there are plenty of such uh, things that are coming to me which is giving me immense uh, energy or moral support so my sincere thanks to all of them my special thanks to maji sir uh, who is the lab attendant of our university in school of physics in my school yeah he is uh, by designation he is a lab attendant but uh, by work he is uh, not less than a scientist or a, in, a very efficient engineer he can do any kind of work you name the uh, work uh mechanical work electrical work carpentry work everything he can do most of the technical supports that uh, uh, uh or most of the things uh, that has been developed by me here he has a big hand in giving the technical support then i would like to give uh, bsc final year uh, projects to uh, student for particularly for this um, for this case here for taking the data uh, for uh, showing the graphs <coughs> particular graphs on here in this video uh, then uh, i'm thankful to my wife and my children son and daughter uh, they used to be are my madness to do research i used to give plenty of time in doing the research and uh, very often ignore them because of my uh, working hour in the laboratory or in, even in a preoccupied stage whenever i used to be in the house also i used to be in the preoccupied stage and they used to be on me and also my special thanks to my wife for cooking the mushroom grown mushrooms at this point of time we are going, going very less amount of mushrooms because uh uh just uh, because of the lack of manpower particularly uh, so i am doing my, myself uh, sometimes uh, students are giving some supporting hand but uh, most of the supporting hands i am getting from my wife and children my wife used to cook those things and uh, we all myself my wife and uh, my children used to test them how it is uh, because uh, you see one of the thing that uh, why this testing is important let me tell you we are growing oyster mushroom of various type people say the oyster mushrooms are uh, uh, do, uh, generally uh, uh, smells woody uh, wood like smells comes but uh, believe me if you grow the uh, mushroom oyster mushroom in good humidity conditions uh, uh, then uh, the size of the mushroom so will be very big as well as uh, it will not smell woody okay so we we are uh, very often testing and also some people say that uh, the mushrooms will smell or uh, particularly oyster mushroom smell woody when uh, you are going uh, taking the flash uh, or in the later stage like th third fourth or fifth flash means uh, cycle of production oyster mushroom gives the uh, mushrooms in different uh, cycles or different uh, uh, periods so once you have grown the mushroom bed uh, it will give uh, the first flash or first production in after one month about one month then in every 15 10 or uh, 12 days it will give production in different cycles so people say that uh, uh, in five cycles, uh, sorry, in later cycles, uh, the grown mushrooms uh, smells woody, but uh, believe me, they never smell woody. Okay, uh, particularly uh, these two, and also I have uh, I've tested the uh, things. If you grow the mushrooms in uh, very low uh, humidity condition, then only it will smell woody. Okay, but if you grow the mushrooms in high humidity condition they will be much bigger 
and uh, also uh, test very good okay so this testing is very much important uh, so my wife and my son daughter help uh, me in doing this so thank you uh, uh, once again for, for all uh, and to others also who, whose name I have not mentioned thanks to them also